All right, today we're gonna to take a look at a rod that's been around for quite a while, but I've only kind of recently acquired it, and that is the Surinoya Clever. Now this particular model I've got here is the five foot two, two piece light spinning setup. Uh, so that is a two to seven gram rod. There's actually six models in the lineup and there's four spinning and two casting. There's a four nine, a five three and a six one ultralight spinning, which are one to five gram casting, as well as a five two light spinning, which is a two to seven and there's a 5.2 ultralight and a 6.1 light in the casting versions. So yeah, take a look at this bag quickly. Nothing too special, it's got, got a zip, but there's no foam or anything like that. But uh, yeah, nice bag. The rod, now we'll start with the business end. Now I've been pretty interested in this rod for quite a while. Look, it's still got the elastic on there uh, because of this here, that abalone shell, it looks absolutely fire if you ask me. If I was to make a custom rod myself, uh, I reckon I'd be putting this abalone shell on there. It looks, it looks sick. I mean, the light really doesn't do it justice, but yeah, trust me, it looks awesome. Anyway, at the end of the rod, we've got this uh, this wood with a silver disc in there with the cast, the uh, <laughs> the Surinoya logo. That's very hard, firm wood. Nice cork grip. Apparently it's a, uh, it's a Portuguese cork. So it's not, not your Spanish cork, not your Italian cork, not your Greek cork, Portuguese cork. Only the finest from Surinoya. And uh, an interesting thing, it's got this, you know, cork grip at the top here and it's and it's tapered, which is nice. There's something kind of interesting that uh, may or may not be unique, but it's the first time I've seen it. So this, this ring here that locks in your reel, that's just doing nothing. That's just sitting there. But there's actually these two separate metal pieces here that you use to um, cinch down the reel and it's got a like a, a rubber gasket in between so once you've uh, once you've screwed down your reel as tight as you want to get it then this part locks it in so it absolutely will not move on you whatsoever and then to you know to loosen it you just back off this top one first and then the other one with it so that's really good. And then there's that abalone shell. Let's get a close look at that. I mean, different rods are gonna uh, differ in their sort of design, but I think I got pretty lucky with this one. It's, it's pretty nice. There's not too many sort of big chunks in it. It's, it's all nice and uh, detailed. Then yeah, this nice cork there this part here these details it's kind of hard to tell when you're looking online as to exactly what color that is I mean it does look like a sea foam but I reckon if you paired this with that sea foam spirit fox reel or something like that I don't think it would match this is almost this is way more of a greeny color than a bluey color um, which kind of surprised me a little bit like it's probably on camera not looking as green as it does, but you know, I'd say it's slightly more green than it is blue. And anyway, we've got this, uh, the Clever logo here with this, uh, with all the rod details on there. Really nice. I think the, um, maybe the, the Pro Flex and um, maybe the Fox Hunting, um, maybe a couple of other rods in the Surinoya lineup also have this same detail, which is really cool. I like the look of it. And then you've got your first guide there. Fuji A guides, Alkanite guides with the K bracket. 
And then you've got your spigot here for your two piece, your second piece. And this is the top piece here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven plus one on this five foot two rod. And uh, yeah, there's not really much more I can say about it. Um, I wouldn't say the kind of like the epoxy work is 100% perfect. You can see some slight indentation there. You can see that on camera. But, you know, I don't think it's going to harm the performance, but, you know, some people might might critique that. And you can see it there as well. I'm sure it doesn't, doesn't harm the performance at all, but that's just a interesting side note that I haven't seen on other rods. And then it's got the tangle free tip as always. But yeah, uh, this is a medium fast action rod, um, sort of, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's medium fast. I think um, that the medium fast rating that they state is uh, pretty accurate. Uh, yeah, but it's because these are shorter rods, lighter rods, this is more of a trout stream fishing, like a traditional BFS style of uh, fishing rod. And um, yeah, I think it's a beautiful looking rod and it costs around about uh, 70 US dollars, I believe about 110 Australian dollars, something around there. Um, but yeah, if you like the look of this rod and this kind of rod suits your fishing needs, then I definitely wouldn't hesitate to buy it. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll catch you guys next time. Please leave a comment and a like and uh, any questions that you've got, I'm always willing to answer them. Catch ya.